Hi, booktube. It's Amy. I am here in Toronto, where I've come to attend the 50th Toronto Antiquarian Book Fair. And I've just been on the Friday night here, and I've got a couple of goodies to share. Uh, and I think that's what I'm going to do here next. Uh, no tripod with me, so I apologize for the shaky camera. Uh, but we're going to cut this clip and I'm going to turn it around and focus on the books here. So this table is very reflective. It's covered in glass, but I thought I'd give you a close-up of the uh, fair pamphlet. Uh, it was on the third floor in this Bali court of the Art Gallery of Ontario, and I wandered around like an idiot trying to find, you know, the entrance to this room. Because uh, there was a sign, and they scanned my ticket. I had to buy a ticket, uh, an entry ticket, to the gallery itself uh, to get into the fair. Uh, there was a couple of other events going on too, and they seemed to be mainly focused on directing people uh, to whatever this other event was. Uh, and I got lost because I get lost whenever I try to go anywhere. And you think it would be fairly simple, you know, third floor. Obviously, you can just hop into any elevator and it'll take you to the third floor. But uh, some of the elevators only went to the first, second and fourth. <laughs> Uh, and you had to find kind of this back hidden elevator to get to the third. And at one point I walked all the way up these stairs thinking it would get me in. And uh, it took me to the third floor, but it took me to the doors that were locked. And there was a velvet rope and I'm looking in seeing all the, the pretty, pretty finely bound books and realizing, oh, this is not the way and I got to go some other way. And uh, I wish they had put up, you know, signs, arrows, had someone, you know, directing people. Uh, but I did eventually make it after wandering around for like 10 minutes. And uh, they had this pamphlet by the door. Uh, so it's on also Saturday and Sunday of this weekend. And uh, this was the layout. Because uh, there's some, certainly, where it was like, yep, this is to look at only, like, don't even touch some of this stuff. Uh, and then there were other booth, booths where it was like, okay, this is in my price range. I feel fairly confident, uh, you know, taking the books off the shelves, having a peek through. Uh, and if they happen to be labeled as $600, you know, continue to browse and then set it back down on the table. Um, but Patrick McGarren Books, he was there and he did have a graphic publisher's title uh, for $50. But uh, I can shop uh, at Patrick McGarren Books in Ottawa anytime I please. Uh, and I've ordered stuff from him online before and I thought, well, you know, it's a nice graphic, but I didn't come all the way to Toronto to get a graphic title. And uh, there are other things here from other sellers I wouldn't necessarily have access to uh, on a regular basis that I'd rather make my purchases from. And so, let's see. There's where I made my purchases purchase from, the Scribe Bookstore. And uh, it says Justin Wood. I suppose that's the gentleman who uh, spoke to me as well. It was actually a woman who checked me out. Um, and I really should have paid, you know, more attention to which, which one was which. Uh, let's see. If I look at them here, uh, they're certainly... Or maybe I've got this whole map backwards. I think I've got the whole map backwards because this is where I came in from the elevators. And so from the elevators, I went through there where all the pretty books were. There were a lot of the Spanish, uh, Spanish, uh, finely bound, really old ones there. And um, that's where the Jonathan Swift was and the, the Walt Whitman. And then I kind of went around there. And I think, yes, that makes no... No, that doesn't. 207. 207. Okay, yes. That is where I made my purchase from, 207. Uh, gracious, that was a long ramble. But uh, these are the shops that were here. Sponsors on the back. Glad I made the trip here, but now on to the books. So this is just not a great combination. Uh, this hotel room's kind of dim, uh, but we've got a glass table with a glassine glossy plastic cover here i think we're going to peel that back but 
This is Arthur Rockham's book of pictures. Uh, and this is a pelican on the front there. Uh, but my interest in Arthur Rockham comes from my interest in J.M. Barry, Because uh, Arthur Rockham did some illustrations uh, for a number of children's books. And so it's kind of, you know, adjacent uh, I have the facsimile of Peter Pan in Kensington Garden with the Rockham illustrations. Uh, and I saw this and I thought, okay, that is the perfect addition to my collection. And I will have much better pictures of these up on my Instagram. Uh, but this has 50 tipped in plates. And this was my most expensive purchase here. Uh, but uh, I was saving up my book money for several for a couple of months here to be able to you know come in and really purchase something and so there is uh, one of the tipped in plates it is a little bit damaged which is why it was significantly less than the other copy that another seller had uh, there was another copy of this uh, in slightly nicer condition for 500 uh, which i saw after i actually purchased this uh, because I was almost on my way out the door. Uh, this was one of the last booths that I seriously looked in. And I thought, okay, I'm going to purchase these before I walk away. And someone else snags them. Because there was a woman who was looking over my shoulder. Uh, and kind of eyeing what I had in my hands. So first published in November of 1913. New Impressions in March uh, 1921, September 1923, and January 1927. Uh, and in note, a few of the illustrations of this book have been published before, yada, yada, yada. But it's just Santa Claus, yep. And when I'm done filming here, I'm going to sit down and really look at this for myself. Child, children's, yeah. Children in the Broadwalk Kensington Garden, yeah. Yep, there's J.M. Perry's name right in there. Uh, so this is kind of adjacent to my J.M. Perry collection. But I'll take some really nice pictures of this and post it on my Instagram uh, for everyone to see. Uh, and as I said, I apologize for the lighting in here. Uh, I might do a more complete, uh, complete video another day or perhaps when I get, uh, get home. So there's that. As I said, I apologize if this isn't a very robust look at these books. I am quite literally uh, sitting here one-handed. So there's that. Oh, and that's just the Gerta that I had read on the train. Uh, I was liking that. I thought, oh, uh, I'm glad I gave Gerta a second try. I'm actually really enjoying this novel a lot more than I did The Sorrows of Young Werther. And then I got to the ending, and Gerta just, for lack of a better term, just sent everything to hell and fucked up the ending. Uh, so I don't think, I don't think I've been converted to Gerta yet. Uh, let's try to get this out of the double paper bag. Uh, but lo and behold, Hugh Thompson illustrated Admiral Crichton, uh, J.M. Barry. Uh, and I'll just peel back the glass scene here as well. Oh, that's a little bit stuck. Uh, but if you know my collection, you'll know I already have the Hugh Thompson illustrated The Admirable Crichton by J.M. Barry. But I have the larger version in the red cloth. Uh, so these are going to be the same illustrations, just on a smaller scale. This one is in blue. And uh, the seller also had the Quality Street uh, in the smaller edition, and talking to her, I said, yeah, like, I've already got the Quality Street, uh, which I got a fairly good deal on it uh, last year. And then, of course, I have the larger format of the Quality Street as well. Uh, 
which mine has a sun 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 faded spine, but uh, adding the smaller format uh, to my collection was too good to pass up. And uh, here's the bookmarks. Uh, we've got uh, one with Margaret Atwood, uh, so the Scry Bookstore, and one with Eldis Huxley. And this is good because I didn't bring any bookmarks with me. Uh, despite reading the Goethe on the train, uh, I was using a napkin to hold my page because I forgot a bookmark. Uh, but it's good to have the bookmarks. I can always use more bookmarks. Uh, but this... Same illustrations as my larger format, uh, just on a different uh, different scale here. That's lovely. And of course, my larger format, if you've seen, uh, seen me show my collection before, the larger format I have uh, is actually a library discard, and this one is not a library discard. Uh, and that it almost looks dirty, but that's that's the jacket, the plastic cover. That's not the the book itself. Uh, so yes, Admirable Crichton and Arthur Rackham book of pictures. Uh, and as I said, I will put some photographs over on my Insta.